male cardinal. His bright red colors designed to attract the mate. The sex organs of this tree are in full bloom as bees inadvertently gather nectar and pollen bringing the gametes from one flower to another, aiding the tree in fertilization, the first step in development. If you look carefully at this wagon full of water, you can see that it's teeming with the larval forms of insects who have started development after eggs were laid in the water and then fertilized. As you can see, class, we're gonna be taking notes on page 109 uh, on fertilization. I literally uh, just did the entire lecture uh, without hitting the record button. So uh, we're gonna try it on the new whiteboard I bought for our virtual classroom. The first step in development, uh, take two, is fertilization. All right, so um, on this diagram, time is going to happen on, on an axis like this. All right, this is going to be the egg right here. So this is the egg cytoplasm. The interior of the egg. Um, this is this here is going to be the egg membrane. Um, and there are these little proteins right here. These are sperm recognition proteins. And also inside the egg are these vesicles uh, with stuff in them called cortical granules. So these are called cortical granules. All right. So the first step is uh, the sperm is going to make its way through um, a series of follicle cells that surround the egg. And the sperm is made of A basal body uh, that basically is the motor for a flagella. Um, it's actually a centriole, this thing. All right. It's got a nucleus, of course. And that nucleus has proteins embedded in it. And then on the front here, it's got this vesicle called the acrosome. So like I said, step one, it's going to make its way through all of these follicle cells to to the ZP or Zona Pellicida, which I don't know how to say right, it's Italian. We're going to call it the ZP membrane. 
that's number one. All right, number one. The sperm. Migrates through follicle cells to the ZP membrane. When it reaches the ZP membrane, the sperm is going to bind with a protein in the ZP membrane. Which is going to trigger something called the acrosome reaction. Acrosome reaction is where this vesicle in the front of the sperm called the acrosome fuses with the uh, lipid membrane of the ZP and it dumps a bunch of enzymes in there that eat the ZP's jelly coat and allow the sperm to pass in there. Okay, so two sperm fuses with protein on the ZP membrane. which triggers the acrosomal reaction. So the acrosomal reaction is a block to polyspermy because uh, the sperm binding to this receptor here uh, causes a signal to be sent down to all the other receptors to not accept sperms. Um, uh, the acrosomal reaction is when the acrosome fuses to the ZP membrane. And as I said, it dumps enzymes into the ZP that digest it. This allows the sperm to pass through the ZP to pass through the ZP. And it, its egg recognition proteins bind proteins in the egg membrane.
All right, so we're going to draw that. The proteins in the nucleus of the sperm binding to the proteins in the egg membrane. Uh, now, this is a species-specific lock and key. So if this sperm ain't the same species of critter as this egg, that's not going to work. It's a species-specific lock and key. Now this, of course, triggers another event, like all things in biology. All right. This is going to trigger the second block to polyspermy. So this causes cortical granules to fuse with the egg membrane. All right, and these cortical granules, that's number five, we're gonna show that. Uh, you know, they're vesicles. So they're membrane bound, their membrane fuses easily with the egg membrane. Uh, and they dump enzymes that transform the ZP membrane Of course, that takes a little bit of time to reach the ZP membrane. Into the ZP. And solutes. that draw water into the ZP. Forcing the now hard ZP membrane Outwards, removing all the other sperm from play. So this is the second block to polyspermy. Finally, the nucleus of the sperm enters the egg and fuses with the nucleus of the egg. It's just going to dump his nucleus in there. The sperm and egg nucleuses fuse. Fertilization is complete. I should have said nuclei, probably. <laughs> Boom. Fertilization is complete.